everyone and welcome back to my channel Taylor Made. and tonight we'll be learning how to create a notebook cover using Canva so what you'll need you'll need to go to canva.com and you need to register for an account if you already don't if you don't have one already so you need to register for an account get logged in to that account and then it'll bring you to the home page and I'm already logged in here on my screen I'm already logged in I do have the pro version but the pro version is not needed there are a few extra features that comes with the pro version but to design the notebook covers you'll just need to register for an account and log in okay all right so the first thing we want to do we want to go to create a design and then we're going to go down to custom dimensions we're going to change it from pixels to inches, okay? And the notebook covers that I normally do, they're 8.5 by 11, and that's pretty much the standard size for the notebooks, okay? So we want to put in 8.5 by 11, okay? And you hit create design. And then it brings us here to the canvas that we're going to be working on. This is the canvas that we're going to be working on. The size is 8.5 by 11 and it tells you up top. So if you want to double check that you put in the right dimensions, the right size for whatever you're working on, look up here up top and it'll let you know the size 8.5 by 11. All right. So for the ones that's not familiar with Canva, this is the t all of the different templates right here on this dashboard these are the different templates that canva offers for you to use and if they're free they'll have a little sign at the bottom right hand corner that says free and you can choose any one of these templates to work on if you like for your designs okay right here you have photos these are the stock photos that they have on Canva. Again, if it's free, it'll say free at the bottom. And you can choose if you like to work with some of those photos. Here are the different elements. I mainly use this portion of it when I'm doing my planners and my journals, which that'll be a different video, okay? So make sure you stay tuned and come back for that video. But this is elements. You got your different types of lines and stuff. And then you have different shapes, different illustrations, icons that you can use. Okay. This section here is the text, which comes with many different fonts that you can select and use for your notebooks. Here's the backgrounds that you can choose from. If you don't buy your backgrounds for your notebook covers from a designer or from Etsy, I usually go, mainly I use Etsy for my designs, my backgrounds. If you don't want to use Etsy and you want to come over here and use some of the free ones that Canva has to offer, you can come and choose one of the free backgrounds. They have different ones that you can use. And here's the uploads. This is where you will upload your own images that you buy from Elf Etsy or wherever you get them from. You would, of course, download them once you buy them. You'll download them to your computer. And then here you come to upload an image. You'll click upload. And then it'll give you the option to upload from your computer, okay? See, it gives it's giving me the option to upload, and I'll click whatever image I want to upload, and it'll upload it for me. Okay. So I already have some images over here that I'm gonna use for my notebook to show you how I design my notebooks, and you can upload as many as you like. Okay, so that's where all your uploads will be stored once you upload them. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our designing our notebook. 
I'm going to use some of the images that I already have uploaded just to show you guys. I'll show you guys both ways, how you can use their backgrounds and how you can use your own images. So first, I'll start with their background, okay? So you want to start with your background. You want to put the background on the canvas. So if you want to use some of the backgrounds that's already loaded in Canva, okay? You click on the background and here it, it fills out the whole page and that's what you want. You want it to fill out the whole page, okay? So this is going to be the cover for the notebook. And up here, you can click on the background color. You have the option to change the color to any of these default colors. Or you can go up here and slide this back and forth and adjust your colors that way, okay? All right, you have that option as well. And you can just kind of play around with it until you find a color that's gonna fit what you're looking for, okay? So I'll go with the purple for now, okay? So if that's the background that I wanna go with, then I'll leave it as that. If not, you just click on another background, choose another background that you may wanna go with, and then it'll filling in here on the canvas for you, okay? And same as with this, you can go up here and you can change the color. So I'll stick with this pink background and then I'm gonna go to upload because this is where all of my images are, okay? This is where all of my images are and now I can start designing my notebook cover. I'm just gonna scroll through and see if there's any images that I already have uploaded that I wanna put on my background. All right, and let's go with, let's go with her. Okay. And once you click the back the image on, you do have the option to resize it. You zoom in if you want to make it smaller, and you'll zoom out if you want to make it bigger. It's just a personal preference. So you do have that option. All right, and now let's go and see if there's another image that I can use. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and type in my own saying. So I want to come here and I want to choose, I want to look at the way that these texts are looking so I can choose and decide which one I want to use, which one I think will look good on my background. So I choose the cheers to the new year. All right, so I wanted to say something different. So you can just go ahead and delete those and then you can put in your own saying. Um, let's go with like a boss, okay? And then you can delete this and if you wanna keep it as just that on your notebook, you can leave it like that or you could put in another Whatever you want to put in for the cover of your notebook and you, you have the option to choose. And then you can come up here and you can also change the font style. There's plenty of fonts that you can choose from. Do note that the ones with the, the crown beside it, those are the ones for purchase. So you will have to purchase that before you're able to download your 
design if you clicked on the one with the crown beside it, okay? But there are free ones that you can choose from. Okay, so that's one of my one of my sayings that I've been going with lately, wife, mom, boss. So if that's what I decide to go with, that's what I decide to go with, and I'm ready to download, then I can go over here to publish. You want to click the down arrow, you come down to download, and it's going to say PNG suggested. You want to leave it as a PNG, and you're going to go ahead and download the design. And this is one of the more simple designs. On the next one, I'll show you a more a more detailed design, okay? Using your own images. I just wanted to show you guys a way that you could use the ones that are already on Canva. That way it makes less money you have to spend purchasing your own background, okay? So this is a more simple design, which is it's cute, simple and cute. You could use the backgrounds from Canva okay so right here is where it downloaded okay I click on it and then from here I'll go ahead and save this to my computer remember where you save it at so when you get ready to print it out you can go ahead and print it out okay and you can print it out from here and I do want to show you guys I know it'll be different for everyone some people, I know they have questions. Well, how do you print without um, having the white border around it? It all depends on the settings for your printer, okay? Your printer settings. And here, when I hit print on my image, it brings me to my printer settings. It's telling me the name of my printer, the presets, and then it says the paper size. And this is where I, it may be, it's going to be different on everybody's com computer. It's going to look different depending on the printer that you have, okay? So I have my paper size is US letter, the 8.5 by 11. And I can click on borderless, okay? And then you see how it removed that border? And then you'll go and hit print. And that's how you print it without a border. So whatever printer you have and however your computer is set up, you want to go into the print, print it, printer settings and look at your paper size and see if it has an option to use the U.S. letter the regular way or you can do the U.S. letter the borderless. The regular way, it has the white border around it. A lot of people don't like that border around it. Personally, I don't like it. So I print and I print borderless, okay? So then you'll go ahead and print and it'll print your page out from there, okay? So that's how you can design a simple design using the backgrounds from Canva, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and from here, I'm gonna go into the more detailed design for the notebook using the images that I mainly bought from Etsy and designers, other graphic designers, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna clear this page out. I'm gonna go ahead and delete. I'm gonna hit delete group. Okay, so now I have my clear canvas and I can go ahead and start designing. So I'm gonna use some images. I'm gonna do the notebook style that I did the other day on my um on my happy planner I'm gonna kind of go with that okay so these images over here I have uploaded from different places bought from different designers and I just put them all together 
see if they go hand in hand with each other the colors coordinate and I'll just click on these images and you see how it all the white space is open I don't I really don't like that so what I'll do you can duplicate this image as many times as you want until you feel that it the page is filled in you have the option to rotate it okay but what I like to do is I just like to go ahead and duplicate it a couple of times until I feel like it's it's filling out the page and I'll just go ahead and fill it out and you guys can watch and see how I do it And don't worry if your design is off the page over here, it's not going to print that way. The only thing that will come out on the print is what you have on the canvas. And I just think this background is so nice. I just like how um, it comes out when I print it out. It prints really nice. And I'll see if I can insert a picture of this design at the end of the video so you guys can see how it came out when I did it on my Happy Planner. I'm just trying to go ahead and cover up some more of those white spots. All right, I think one more do. Let's see. All right, so I feel that that's pretty complete for my background. All right, let's see. And then I want to go ahead and select the image that I want to use. Okay, so there's my image. And you can go ahead and position it how you want. And if you click on it, and you kind of move it around, you'll see the pink box that's outlining it or the pink line. It, that lets you know if it's centered in the center of the page. So this is pretty center. I'll leave it there. Okay, so that's the image I went with. Okay, and now on to adding the other designs that I have. I combined a couple of designs that I have from, from different places. So this flower. And you see how the flower is covering up her face? That's okay, because we're going to adjust it. So I'm going to go ahead up here, make sure the blue box is highlighted around it. I'm going to go to position and I'm going to send it backwards. Okay. And now it's behind her and she's the main image. She's up front. And then from there, I can go ahead and adjust it. Adjust the flower. Okay. So that's good. And I want to use this flower again. So I'll just highlight it and duplicate it. And then I'm going to use it down below. And you can turn it, flip it, however you like. You can kind of play with it to see which way will look better. I like that. And you see how it's on top of her purse. I do want to go ahead and send this one backwards and it brings her forward. Okay. Now I'm going to add one of my gold leaves. Let's see how it looks in the corner. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'll duplicate it. I want to use one at the bottom. And then I'm pretty much satisfied with the way my design is working. Let's see if I can adjust this just a tad bit bigger. Okay. All right, so that's my background, guys. And now I'm ready to print. So again, you'll go to publish. You hit download, leave it as PNG, and it's going to tell you that it's preparing your design. And once it completes downloading, you can go ahead and click on it. And look how nice and pretty that is. And you have your notebook cover, okay? Beautiful. And then from here, like I said before, you can go to print and you can adjust your printer settings because we don't want that white background, the white border, okay? All right, and I hope you guys like this video. And if this is your first time at my channel, welcome. And I hope you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next videos, I'll have a whole series of videos on how to design the covers. This is the first one, how to create the cover for a notebook. And then we'll go into making the actual notebooks and all the materials that I use to make my notebooks. And then we'll do planners and pretty much the journals and the notebooks are the same, okay? And I will do other videos showing you how to create the templates okay so please like and subscribe to my channel share share with others that may be interested in this video and i hope this was informative to someone and i'll see you guys in the next video